Today I have a sneaky EKG. Let's see if you get it right. Now this EKG, the key to it is the PR interval. Notice that the PRI is consistent throughout until, whoop, we drop a beat out of nowhere and we got a P wave sitting all by itself. Well, that's the characteristics of second degree type two. Now let's talk about treatments. Now with second degree type two, this is a much more ominous EKG than a first degree hard block or a second degree type one. This EKG can literally lead into cardiac arrest. We see this EKG, we gotta take it seriously. Of course, we're gonna consider doing a 12 week EKG. We're gonna do that. Check, that's out of the way. Now let's talk about patient condition. If they're stable versus unstable, meaning the mental status and the blood pressure, what do we do? Well, there's not much we can do here on stable besides monitor the patient because our medication in the, in the ambulance is atropine and atropine's not gonna really work for second degree type two. So that leaves us with one treatment for both sides of stable and unstable, pacing the patient. So we have to use our life pack back here to actually do transcutaneous pacemaking.